Today, we're at the Huntington Gardens in Pasadena, California. The Huntington is my absolute favorite garden in the whole world, with the exception of my little backyard garden. We're looking now at the Huntington's Mansion, which is the centerpiece of the gardens, Henry and Arabella Huntington. And I can tell you a little bit about the history as we go along. But there are so many beautiful vistas here that I wanted to share just a few of them with you today. And we'll have to come back because there's too much to see in one visit. This is the view from the northern side of the mansion looking out of the living room window. This beautiful long green flat space with the statuary garden. And it has an extraordinary fountain at the end. Let's go take a look at it. So here we are at the other end of the statuary garden and you can see where the mansion is and the beautiful view that it might have. And then over here you can see this gorgeous fountain and you can hear the lovely water so relaxing and calming. The funny thing about this garden is that when my daughters were little we would come here and they would have races all the way down to the fountain. <laughs> and sometimes I would participate, but never win. And once I remember one of my daughters got a bee sting on her foot and had to hobble all the way around the garden for the rest of the day. We have so many happy memories here at the Huntington. Here's one of the beautiful interior gardens just before we go to the Rose Garden. There's hollyhocks and lamb's ear. I can see some lantana, some daylilies, a Japanese maple. There's some dusty miller there, some salvia. Just a beautiful color swatch before you go to the profusion of roses. As we enter the rose garden, let me take a close up of these gorgeous floribundas here. I cannot tell you the beautiful fragrance that I am now smelling. I wish you were here so you could smell it too. It's wafting in the air, all of these beautiful scents together. And then it opens up to this beautiful vista. All these roses. Roses forever. Look, rows and rows of roses. And they each have a name. And they each have their own particular way of growing in bunches or singly. All these gorgeous colors. Just take a look down one of these rows. This one is called Lady Anne Kidwell. This is called the Pasadena Tournament because of course this is where the Tournament of Roses is. Here's one called Easy Does It. These are all named. My daughter said to me as she was watching one of the videos, Mom, do you know the names of all those flowers or do you look them up? And the answer is that most of the flower names I know, but I certainly don't know all of these rose names. This one back here is called Double Delight. I have this one in my garden. It is incredibly fragrant. This one's called Moonstone. Look at the beautiful variegated color flower. Beautiful red. And here we are at the end of the row. But there's also another row. And another row and another row. The roses go on forever. And as I said, each one is unique. There's no two that are the same here. What a lovely legacy the Huntington's left. A garden for everyone to enjoy. We'll be visiting the Japanese garden next, so stay tuned.